All right, everybody, we are back for the next episode of the Hat in Time One Hit Hero Challenge. So, if you guys remember, down there was old Seal the Deal. Now, if you come this way, here's the next level. Boop. Now, OBS was acting strange. Just absolutely strange. To get through here, all you have to do is... Now, on my end, it looks good, okay? Like, at first, it was trying to record it in some weird... Um, resolution. And I didn't want to record it full screen either. It, it was just being super weird, but it's good on my end, so hopefully everything is, is good now. But we're starting DLC... We just finished seal the deal. No, we didn't, did we? There's a blue time rift. We have to go back and grab that blue time rift after this. I did not forget. I temporarily forgot, but we're back. We're back in it. So this is actually a really awesome expansion, I think. As you guys will see. See, we got these cats here that bop us in the air like that. Um, so I'm pretty sure right now you can just follow the pawns. I think. Hey, watch out, hat kid. I think this level got it back to its basics, which is why I'm okay with how they chose to do the DLC. Like, seal the deal is a little different, but I don't think that's bad. I think it was it was different and those who enjoy it are probably going to really enjoy it and those who didn't are probably just gonna be uh, not the biggest fans I was indifferent but I think as a whole so these guys are paint cleaner uppers so this is how you have to do this yeah I think that took me forever to figure out in my original playthrough of this uh, but I think still the deal will go down as being okay. It introduced uh, a couple of things I wouldn't mind seeing in the main game, which is like the shattered timepieces. So this is like a callback to level one of uh, Mafia Town. Sometimes it's just that easy, you know. Sometimes it's just that easy, lemon squeezy. And now we'll go back and grab the the blue time piece. That belongs to the boss. No way. Thank you for bringing this to me. Nobody's mouth moves. No one. Hers does. Thank God. Well, I can't have you running around interfering with my jewel business. So. You work for me now. Come to my store. We've business to discuss. You know when I run a drug test on me? Maybe check my background? I did There's kill these, I'm sure. a, a lot of people, actually. And you bring me more. Stop now. Again, if you want to see the dialogue, I have a entire playlist with this series. I guess we're going to grab one more timepiece. Can I get this going? There we go. So as you come into these giant levels, they're gonna tell you what you need to do. Okay. Checking my time. I don't have really anything in mind. I'm probably just gonna try to record for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, that's not gonna work. There we go. I do need to make sure my fantasy lineup is good. What in the world? That's what I get for recording at 12.30. Game start at 1 o'clock. Uh, we're jumping off right here. I don't know, actually, maybe we'll just grab uh, one more time piece and then the... Well, that ain't how you're supposed to do it, but it's okay. Because I'm probably going to just record all of these today. I'll probably do this and uh, maybe like make lunch 
get my lineup good to go and then uh, come back for more wait 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 we haven't got hit yet but we haven't been hit I don't think we've been hit but I had to turn those off because we've been doing some Hat in Time mods. So, well, passed it, didn't we? It should be okay. I'm thinking I can just do... Nope. Cannot actually, in fact, do that. Well, that's what you get for experimenting. Um, yeah, so actually two Switch games are coming out this weekend. And, uh... Oh, that's cheating. Oh yeah, this is just for the Metro ticket. This isn't even for the timepiece. So these will get us access to like, those doors right there. So that's gonna be the mechanic of this game is these these Metro uh, tickets. We don't have the pink or red one. I don't remember what that one was. So we can't go through there yet. But this should be a timepiece right here. No command prompt. Okay. Okay, game. That's okay. We're literally right back here anyway. So, hurry, hat kid, hurry! It's cute that you can do the ta-da's and all that good stuff, but... We got places to be. Alright, let's line this up a bit better. And then... Oh, jeez. Okay. Not what I wanted to happen. Why? 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 I was so close. Where is this going to take me? Oh, I guess I just have to jump over here, right? And this is a timepiece. Okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Now we'll just do the blue time rift, and this will be a really short episode. Actually, it doesn't kick you out, does it? These levels don't actually ever kick you out. I guess let's go finish yellow. Now that I'm looking at it. And then, yeah, that'll let us call this, like, yellow district or something, you know? So that'll be good. I can live with this. But yeah, two Switch games are coming out this weekend, so I want this to be done, taken care of, wrapped up. All that good stuff, you know. So I can move on to some per newer projects. Oh yeah, this gets us through the bottom level, but we don't actually want to be down here, I don't believe so. So we're going to keep uh, pressing on here. Ever onward and forward and upward to victory and such. So, I need. I was not paying attention. That was kind of fitting. Whatever she just cried there. Where does this respond us at? At first, I thought it was responding us all the way back at the start. Okay. Well, we can live with this. Let's see what's over there. There are going to be stickers and whatnot scattered throughout the level, but I don't think I'm going for... Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going for every sticker, so if I miss one, it's okay, but... I think that might have been one. Okay. Now, I know what I was trying to do here. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Mental lapse is what we call that. Ugh, I can't believe I did that. All right, from the top and whatnot. So let's... This was supposed to be very short. Okay. If I wasn't to do it this way, how would I do it? Oh, oh, I think I actually do remember how to do this one. Why? 
Why don't you even give me the shot to do it how I want to do it? Okay, well they didn't floor kill me. Does that mean I have a new floor? No, I don't have a new floor. Okay, so we're gonna have to backtrack. I remember how to do this, but I don't remember how to get to where I'm trying to go. Because we're gonna come at it from above. I mean, I could try... Oh jeez, I'm all the way over here. Well, that was great. That was great. That was classic. That was a classic. Very classic moment right there. Okay, maybe we'll... Tr I just... I'm like, is that gonna take me down green path? And if it takes me down green path, I don't... I don't remember if that's where I want to be or not. I also don't remember if this will just take me. It doesn't look like it does. So I'm gonna just use this to... I don't think... Okay. Well, whatever. We're still alive, somehow. Let's jump down here. Where is my opening? I cannot remember for the life of me that this takes to where... Okay, so we're just back at the beginning, actually. That's okay. So what we can do is trip and paint right here. And then... So this is green station. Here's this another sticker. Not sure if this is where we want to be. I also haven't got to play much of the mod scenes, but I hope those guys are being used now. As like little... Little, little launch pads. Get out the way, people. What's down here? What is this? Yeah, okay. I remember this part. Because now... What do I do with him? That just takes me back out, right? Um... Okay, so I can do this, and then I can... Can I bring him out? Shoot. What is this? Okay. Okay, well, we have broke the game. I am convinced. I am convinced this is what a broken game looks like. I've never been more convinced of something in my life. Okay, get out of there. <laughs> okay, so here's what you're supposed to do, and now he'll follow you. What are you doing? Come on, dude. You're taking too long. Come on. And then I can just drop down in here. Can I not? Okay. Thank you. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this does not... Jeez. I'm pretty sure this is not going to take us to where we we're, we were trying to go. Oops, not my sprinter cap. Um, where do we want to go? Okay. Oh, jeez. What's the point of that? Yeah, I guess we're just on a completely different route now. We weren't supposed to fall down here, were we? Oh, whoa. Where am I trying to go? Uh oh Noted. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Like, why did that have to happen? I don't guess the one-hit badge really messes you up too much here because there's so many checkpoints. And there's not... There's... There's not a boss fight, is there? Well, there is... Well, okay. We'll get into that when we get into that. How about it? All right. I love these double trains, but I don't remember... <sighs> I don't remember it ever becoming more than two trains. Like, they could have had five trains and you're having to jump between all of them. Maybe you could hide a secret on there, too. I don't know. I feel like they played it a little safe. I can't tell where the little cat bouncer thing is. Three, two, one. Okay. 
Up over here. What are you doing, hat kid? Plus they're like, they're virtually symmetrical, so you don't even, I, this is a timepiece, isn't it? Yeah, timepiece. See that, I feel like these levels are more akin to Super Mario 64. I feel like for the first time in this game, it actually, since maybe Mafia Town, maybe, it actually feels like Mario 64. They just drop you in here, they're like, yeah, go do a bunch of platforming challenges and... And, uh, just do your thing. Now, it is, I guess, funny that I say for the first time it feels like Super Mario 64 in the level that doesn't kick you out. But I think that was also interesting, them experimenting with not kicking you out. And it's mostly because the story, the levels don't change depending on where you are. I was talking to Jessica about this because Jessica is of the mindset that games need to be like Odyssey where they don't kick you out. And of course, Odyssey, it, it kind of lends itself to it. It was down here, wasn't it? Because there's so many moons, imagine being kicked out of that game every time you got a moon. And why would you speedrun that game if it kicked you out every single time you got a moon? Plus the way the Cappy works. Um, plus the way the Cappy, the, the, uh, the Odyssey works. You couldn't really get kicked out in a lot of levels because you're trying to restore power. So she was saying that 3D games from now on need to be made like that, where they don't kick you out of the level. So we were talking about, well, how many key items would there be per level? Because Odyssey's close to like 50, whereas Ukulele, I don't know, Ukulele may be closer to 20, maybe. And of course, I had in time is at six ish. And uh, we were just discussing numbers. We felt like 10. 10 was a pretty good, uh, I guess, range of collectability. But I do like the idea that maybe it varies. Like a big level has 20 and maybe a smaller level has 10. Oh, what are we, where are we going? But uh, I was talking about with Hat and Time, it loads so many different worlds when you come into them like mafia town well subcon forest is really the the level that doesn't change regardless of what oh regardless of which act you're in maybe maybe the subcon well would change it i need to make sure i don't pass it i can hear it i couldn't hear it before so yeah there it is but uh with battle of the birds it's never the same map it never is. Like, I mean, you go to Dead Bird Studios once or twice, but then the giant parade is a different level. The uh, the train rush is a different level. The uh, Dead Bird Studios is, of course, different than the ones I've already named. So it's having to load a different map every time. So, of course, it has to kick you out every single time. This is... I'm glad I got that. I remember this one being tricky. But hopefully I can fare a little better. I think I'll fare slightly better than I did my first time around. I feel like I've gotten better at a hat in time since since back in the day. The shortcuts are a lot more obvious to me, like what you can truly do with Hat Kid. But even then, I haven't looked up any of the really broken stuff, so I just found out about the broken slide mechanic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the pink sunrise mods. It's insane. Um, okay. I mean, you can totally skip that. Okay. So... I guess we want to hit it and then turn it off immediately? Oh, shoot. Okay, got there. That's okay. What in the world? Yeah, and that's okay. Um, so yeah, a hat in time loads different, basically. Is this how I'm supposed to do this? Okay. Loads different levels every time. So yeah, you're clicking on Battle of the Birds, but it's rarely the same map. Oh, golly. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 
But for um for the Metro Oh yeah, it's the one hit hero challenge. Right. We can't just tank hits anymore. Does this restart us? I didn't see a checkpoint. I guess it's just an Well yeah yeah yeah. I, guess, I think every time you see a lamppost that's a checkpoint. Ooh, just almost did not make that. Um Okay. So I would like your guys' opinion on what is the future of platforms? Is it is it more because I was telling her that Super Mario 64 was really the only one that kicked you out of the maps. Like Donkey Kong Country doesn't kick you out of the map. Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong 64 doesn't kick you out of the map. I thought they had already went up. Whoops. 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 Uh, and I didn't play the other rare games like Banjo Kazooie or Conquer, but I assume that they don't kick you out of maps. And then what else is there? I'm trying to think, what's another like collectible game? You think I would just know more collectathon games off the top of my head? Obviously, Ukulele doesn't kick you out. Oh, wrong, wrong stinking hat. I, I really like Vex. It's been a minute since I played it, but I th think Vex kicks you out on the GameCube. Uh, but Jack and Daxter doesn't kick you out, and Ratchet and Clank doesn't kick you out. They're a bit different style, though. Okay, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Okay. Really wanted that to work for me. Oh gosh, I didn't realize those were moving. No! <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I didn't realize that. I could take I could totally take my time there. Alright. I feel like these are really the only levels they experimented with being difficult. And other than like boss fights and stuff, you know. This is the wrong darn hat! Or was it? Did I have the right hat on or did I have the time stop hat on? I may have had the right hat on. I may have just forgot. But yeah, this like combine. Well, they haven't really made you combine hats. I'm not sure how they would do that, but it'd be interesting. I'm really interested. I, I don't know if they have any intentions of making a hat in time two or what, you know. But I would be interested since this since this wanted to play like a Super Mario 64 game, it made sense for them to kick you out of the levels. Plus the way that they have designed their worlds to be different, like every time you go in. I was telling Jessica, you know, it's hard to go into Welcome to Mafia Town and then go right into, it didn't work. Does it not work when you're sliding? Either way, I should have pressed it before I slid. I don't know what I'm doing, being a scrub. Why am I being a scrub right now? I guess just because I'm always a scrub. I was so tempted to see if I could just make that. But with my scrubbish attitude, I was like, nah. Okay. Nothing to it. What is wrong with me? Why haven't I beat this shit? I could have went, but I'm just going to give it a second. All right, and we're through. Whoa, what? Excuse me? I mean, I don't know why I'm acting surprised. The hitboxes in this game, I've learned doing the one hit hero challenge, are just the most ridiculous thing you have ever seen. I don't know why I keep tempting myself to try that. I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm too much of a chicken. But every once in a while, I, I get a little burning to just just, just see what you're capable of, you know? Okay. Can we just do this right? Okay, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you for allowing me to just do things the right way. Okay. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Y'all need to just leave. Okay. I cannot believe that took so long. Okay. See, now we're into not even hard. 
not even hard. Not that it was ever really hard. It's just hard when you're a scrub. So. Which I just happen to be like way too way too much do I do I be scrub. Scrub a dub dub. Alright, where are we going? This is it. The land of the living. Okay. Well that's it for this one. Not not quite thirty well, maybe. I don't know. Not quite thirty minutes, I don't think. New color, sure. Let's take it. The big appetite. Since this is my second account, I'm like, don't I have a lot of these? But, so like I said, I'm gonna eat lunch, come back, and record some more because I really want to have these done by Friday. So I'd like to have them all edited or all recorded today, and then I can just edit and upload them throughout the week. Sounds good to me. So I hope you guys have a great lunch or dinner or whenever it is. I will see you guys again. Will it keep me down here if I go off of this? I guess we'll find out. But alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And, uh, yeah. That's gonna do it for this one.